Before performing your first actual simulation, do a trial run going through each step. Your computer should be on with EasyLab QC running and ready to record the test data for the particular device being tested and gas being used. Set the large volume syringe to 3 liters using the locking collar on the volume syringe's plunger as a guide. Start with the arrows of the three-pronged valve pointing to the mouthpiece of your DLCO device and the large syringe. Press the black button valve to fill the standardized gas syringe to 2.3 liters. Your DLCO device will require tidal breathing, just like a patient. Push the plunger of the volume syringe in and out four or more times. Then, having simulated tidal breathing, the last stroke should end with a push of the plunger all the way in with its locking collar set at 3 liters, meeting the end of the manifold. This action synthesizes the patient exhaling. Pull the plunger all the way out in one fluid stroke as though the patient was taking a big breath in. Do a breath hold for 10 seconds, during which time you will place one hand on the end of the plunger of the standardized gas syringe and the other on valve 1, the three-pronged valve. Remember, the target breath hold time is between 9 and 11 seconds. When 10 seconds of breath hold time have elapsed, quickly turn valve 1 clockwise, connecting the standardized gas syringe to the main port. Push the plunger of the standardized gas syringe all the way in using one smooth stroke as though the patient was exhaling again. This completes the breathing simulation cycle of the test, in this case, the trial run. At this point, you would wait while the gas is being analyzed and computed. You may want to go through the trial run once more before performing the first true simulation, or you can move on. The more comfortable and confident you are in the process, the more smoothly the testing will go. For this training, we will operate on a scenario of testing middle and high DLCO ranges, starting with the middle range. However, if you will be testing different range combinations, simply follow the procedures described. Only minor adjustments would need to be made. We'll begin with the middle range testing, performing five tests at 3 liters, five at 4 liters, and five at 5 liters. Then we'll switch the pressure regulator to the high range gas cylinder, flush the standardized gas syringe, then repeat the testing process, again performing five tests at 3 liters, five at 4 liters, and five at 5 liters. Make sure that the pressure regulator is attached to the middle range gas cylinder and the gas is turned on. Connect the largest port on the simulator's manifold and the mouthpiece of the DLCO device, if they are not already connected. Use the locking collar on the volume syringe's plunger to set the volume syringe to 3 liters. Turn the three-pronged valve counterclockwise so that the arrows point to the volume syringe and the simulator's main port. Press the black button valve, filling the standardized gas syringe to 2.3 liters. Simulate tidal breathing by pushing the plunger of the volume syringe in and out four or more times. Push the plunger all the way in with its locking collar set at 3 liters, meeting the end of the volume syringe's canister. Pull the plunger all the way out in one fluid stroke. This should take two or three seconds. Keep the plunger of the volume syringe pulled all the way out for a breath hold for 10 seconds. Turn valve one clockwise, connecting the standardized gas syringe to the main port. Push the plunger of the standardized gas syringe all the way in using one smooth stroke. Wait as the gas is being analyzed and the computations completed. Review the results as they are displayed on the computer monitor before performing the next simulation, checking that the breath hold time captured is between 9 and 11 seconds, and the computed values are within a range appropriate for the particular DLCO device you are testing. Repeat the test four more times, using the middle range gas and with the volume syringe set to 3 liters. Once you have completed five satisfactory tests at 3 liters, it would be a good time to stop and enter data into EasyLab QC. Having done so, then you would continue with the testing.